Welcome to this Hartford Showcase event on Hartford TV. I'm Don Morrison. We're at Aberdeen High School tonight. It's the Aberdeen Eagles taking on the Harvard Grace Warriors in a Chesapeake Division girls basketball game. Bob Solberg, thank you so much for being with me. What a good night it's going to be. Haverty Grace, Aberdeen, whenever they play and whatever they play, it's always, uh, as you know, being an Aberdeen graduate, playing Haverty Grace is like playing your neighborhood rival. Oh, yeah, they're, they're just right right down Route 40, and it's, it's always a good contest whenever the two match up. And thank you for having me back. This is, this is fun. Yeah, we were talking. This is a brand-new school. When you graduated, we won't say when, a few years <laughs> ago. Uh, the, the, the old school was here. This is a brand new school, a brand new gym, beautiful facility. I know you're impressed by it. But yeah, I'm very impressed. And I had to ask you if this was a gymnasium that that we played. Actually, I didn't play in it. The boys played in it. We played in the other school, but yeah. um, I, I wasn't quite sure. Now it's a, a brand new gym with a uh, you know the the great uh, seating and just a beautiful, beautiful place. Talking about senior night, Barb, now you graduated from Aberdeen. You remember senior nights. You played all three sports, field hockey, um, basketball, and softball. Uh, won state titles in both, two state titles in field hockey and softball. Went on to Minnesota and, and played there as an All-American. Uh, you're a member of the Minnesota Hall of Fame. Wow. Softball, softball Hall of Fame, yes. I'm impressed I can sit beside <laughs> you and you're actually talking to me. I'm back to senior night, though. Remembering back to your last game when you knew it was the last time you would be on this home court and, you know, the four years sort of flash before you. What were your thoughts? Well, the thoughts were exactly that, that this, this is probably the last time I'm going to, and, and basketball in particular, I knew it was going to be the last time I played organized basketball. Um, softball was a different story. Um, but being a senior, you know, you're taking the, the court and you're in the spotlight that maybe at the beginning of the game you're not quite used to, especially if you're not a starter. I think we may have the seniors starting tonight and they might not be used to it, so they might be a little nervous at first. Um, I think once the game gets started, they'll forget all about that. Yep, yep. Senior night, it's only two seniors on the entire Aberdeen team. And who would normally be playing on the JV that are on the varsity roster. We asked you before we started on air, does that make a difference in terms of preparing to play, not having a JV? No, it, it, it makes a difference, especially this time of year um, when you're getting ready to go into the playoffs. And I, I believe if it's still true, you could bring up some sophomore and yeah. some freshmen to play in the playoffs. And, and typically, if you have a JV, they've been playing all year and getting their experience and getting playing time. Um, that's probably not the case if you don't have a JV. So they can't really rely on the experience of those younger players. And we were talking about alma maters. If you think about uh, uh, Jamia McCluskey, who's the coach for Aberdeen, who played here, won back-to-back -back state titles in basketball back in the 2013 era, won four more state titles. Oh, let's take a pause here, and here is our national anthem. No, they were just <laughs> testing it out. <laughs> Thank little, you. Yeah, well, we got a couple of bars in there. Anyhow, Jamia McCluskey, the head coach, Ah, we think they're still <laughs> testing it out. Uh, and again, her assistant coach, Kiara Palmer, played together. Now, is this, no, they're really, they're I messing with us there, Barb. I think they're testing. <laughs> uh, I think they will tell us well, when they're going to play the national anthem. the players, right? But again, the coaches are both teachers here. One is a special ed teacher, Jamia uh, McCluskey, and Kiara Palmer is a special um, uh, she likes to describe it as beating on people's heads from time to time. She's one of the liaison security officers. Having those two as coaches at Aberdeen really makes a close connection with the girls. It, it does, because you're seeing them day to day, you know. I've yeah, so if you have a, a coach that has a, you know, a different full-time job, you're not seeing the, the players and the students every day. Which is the case with Haverty Grace. Uh, they have a second-year coach tonight. Jordan Kale uh, is going to be subbing for the the uh, head coach as the interim. And now they're announcing the seniors. What a night for these seniors! Their parents, their relatives. I believe this is Jasmine Kemp or or Bria Huff Crenshaw. Yeah, this is Bria. Huff Crenshaw, number 14, uh, a senior five foot six uh, track player. She is also in the uh, biomed program here at Aberdeen. One of the really smart kids. Yeah, biomed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and there she is, Bria Huff Crenshaw, with her mom and 
family. What a wonderful time for her. Imagine when you're separated from school like you had been now, Barb. This is something you'll remember the night they honored you. Oh, yeah, she did. And my parents never missed a game, so they, they were at every game I was at. So Your parents were really legendary. Nice. Now, this is uh, Jasmine Kemp. Jasmine is a senior, second year on the program, eight points a game. Also in the mechanical engineering program. I guess you've got to be really smart. <laughs> Speaking of that, the, this team averages, get this now, 3.5 GPA as a team. Wow. Yeah, they have seven players over 3.75 GPA, which I don't think is so special because I had a 3.5. She had all four <laughs> years together, 1.0, 1.0. Right, right. <laughs> There's Jasmine Kemp. Congratulations, four years of playing on this program. Mom and Dad, very proud. Normally, uh, Barb on senior night, there's five or six seniors, but it just shows you how young this team is that there are two seniors on the whole team. Yeah, that's, that's. Now the team comes out to join the two seniors and to congratulate them, flowers, and I think I saw a teddy bear coming out there. <laughs> kind of cool. A backpack full of goodies, it looks like. So it's picture time, and uh, congratulations again to Jasmine Kemp and to Bria Huff Crenshaw, the two seniors on senior night here at Aberdeen. I think, Don, we, we asked if this was the last home game, and it, it is Aberdeen's last home game, hence the senior night. Yep. They play, I think, two more uh, regular season games, both away, and then, of course, they go in the playoffs. Unlike in your day, Barb, where you had to qualify for the playoffs, everybody goes to the playoffs, depending on what uh, your region they're seated in. Aberdeen coming in with a 4-12 and 12 record. They're only 3-11 and 11 in the Chesapeake division, as opposed to Haverty Grace, who's 10-8. and 8. Uh, Haverty Grace with that good 10-8 and 8 record, Barb, but they have lost five of their last seven games. Yeah, and they have a, they, a, I won't say a shorter roster, they have, they have a, a smaller roster in the numbers yeah. that they have. They do, the Harvard Grace Warriors dressed in those maroon visiting uniforms. They'll start Natalie Burton, number 10, Azaria Whiting, number 11, 15, Sinai Knox, 23, uh, Brielle Croxel, and number four, Sabrina Knox. Sabrina Knox, a freshman. That's Sabri being introduced. Uh, Sabri is a five foot ten freshman. Number ten, you're seeing introduced. That's Natalie Burton. Eleven is Azaria Whiting. Keep your eye on her. She really fills up the stat sheet. Ten and a half points a game, six and a half rebounds. Number fifteen, Sanai Knox. Sanai, a senior, five foot nine. And number eleven, that's Azaria Whiting. That's the visiting Haverty Grace Warriors. Here's Nyjah Harris. Nyjah Harris is a five foot three junior, averaging 15 points a game. Morgan Hargrove, a junior five footer. Kamara Armstrong, a five foot ten a junior, six points a game. Leah Huff Cranshaw, number 14, for a senior. senior number 22, and there's Jasmine Kemp, the two young ladies you met in our senior introduction. So just about set to get underway here. Don't worry about the lights. They turned out the lights for dramatic purposes. I thought at <laughs> first we'd had a mechanical glitch here or something. Now I'm given on good authority, we are going to honor our country with the national anthem.
now for the beginning of this game, Aberdeen versus Haberty Grace. Uh, Aberdeen coming in, as we said, 4 and 12. Haberty Grace 10 and 8. They did play a uh, bar back in early January. Haberty Grace won that game on the Warriors' floor, 39-30. It's a long time ago, though. Yeah, I looked. It was about halfway through the season. Yeah. Um, a lot of teams change uh, from them. Then again, if you had your, your younger sophomore and freshman, they, what do they say? Freshmen are no longer freshmen at this yeah. point in the year. They're, they're now sophomores. Yeah. Hansabriya Whiting, uh, we mentioned number 11 for Haberty Grace. That's a young lady. Keep your eye on her. Ten and a half points a game, six and a half rebounds, three and a half assists, and 4.6 steals. I think she brings out the water chuck as well sometimes. <laughs> Haberty Grace be going from left to right across your TV screen. Jumping the ball at center is Sanai Knox, the five foot nine senior. Referees in tonight's game, Derek Lyons. He's the young man who will be throwing the ball up along with Chris Johnson, his partner. Aberdeen in the white uniforms with the blue trim going from right to left, and we're all ready to get underway. Eight-minute quarters. Battling for the ball. It's midcourt, and we have a scrum already. We're going to do it all over again. Yep. Yeah, they will. They'll, they'll toss the ball up again. They, we do have the alternating possession, but nobody got possession no that possession, day. possession, right. Ball tapped in. Hybrid Grace will have it. Here come the Warriors now. What kind of defense are they playing out there? Like they're, they're playing a zone, 2 3 zone. Remember, you have 30 seconds to shoot the ball. And just like that, shooting the ball up long on the three point. Rebound comes off to Haverty Grace. That shot was by Whiting. Whiting, number 11, puts it up again. Front of the rim, no good. Battling for the rebound. Taken away by Haverty Grace. Into the hands of Sabri Knox, the freshman, number four. Driving, puts it up. No foul called. Looks like there might have been a little bit of contact. A little bit. Oh. Oh, taken away by Haverty Grace again. And now recovered and kept it in bounds by Natalie Burton. So we had three offensive rebounds in yeah. that series? I think so. Minute in the game, no score, either team. Burton, cut off, double team. And there is the uh, jump ball. Alternating possession will go There's to Aberdeen. Yes. I don't see the alternating it's, possession. It's on that, oh, it's on, on that, that, that one, yes. scoreboard <laughs> over to our right. Normally they have it on the scorer's table. I think... Uh, Oh, they're trying to get it to uh, work on referee there, Derek think. Lyons is saying the same thing. Where is the light that shows us alternating possession? Apparently, we do not have one, which is why it's not on. I want to thank Tim Lindekamp, the AD here. And Tim was a classmate of yours back in the day, huh? He was not a classmate. He graduated a couple years before me. He oh, he's uh, older. That's right. He's much, graduate, much I older, yeah. Yeah, graduated with the kid uh, Ripken, yeah, Calvin, yeah, Edwin, some, some, something like that. Ripken yeah. Jr., I think, <laughs> yeah. Aberdeen, driving, putting it up. Good shot oh, from the corner. Shot. That's Morgan Hargrove. So the first two points go to Aberdeen. He goes up 2-0. Well, you want to win on senior night. You want to win against Harvard Grace if you're playing Piggly Wings. You still want to <laughs> win. If you're Aberdeen, of course. Looking for the three. Grace moving it in and out nicely. Just a little there, short on that shot. There's a defensive rebound. That was Burton with the shot. Looked good all the way, just a little bit short. Had a chance to meet her dad before the game. He's uh, happy to hear that it's being live streamed. So his relatives up in Pennsylvania can see it. Long three, going to be oh. short. Rebounded by Harvey Grace's uh, number 23, Brielle Croxel. Whiting thinks about it. Burton inside the three-point line passing. gets it. Yes, that good is passing. good passing. Burton with the basket. We're tied at two. Natalie Burton, a junior, five foot uh, two, averaging three points a game. So she's within a point of her average at this point. Looks like Hamda Gray's playing man, man to man. Looking for three. Oh, three left the line. That's Nija Harris. Nija Harris Nijah with a three-pointer. Nice averaging 15 points a game, the leading score for Aberdeen. Eagles up by 5-2, as you see. A good ball movement. Short. Another scrum for the basketball. That should stay with Aberdeen. Grace. Bob, you made the point about how Aberdeen Grace moving the ball very crisply around that zone. Yeah, they're not, pat they're not 
bounce. They're not dribbling. They're, uh -huh. they're, they're getting that pass off very quickly, and it, it's tough to defend that. Derek Lyons taking a break to go over and see uh, who indeed does have possession of the ball. I think it should be Haberty Grace Paul. Like Aberdeen got the last alternating possession. Well, you're quiet here suddenly <laughs> in this gym. It is quiet. You're a pin drop, as they say. Aberdeen High School built in 2003, this new school, this beautiful gym. It's sort of a gem and a half. They have that blue tarp they can put down to separate it for phys ed classes. But, Barb, they can bring out those bleachers behind the home basket for Haverty Grace, so the visiting basket, and have stands all the way up to the, uh, to the court. Inside it goes. Looking to get the Just shot off back up front. Immediately passes it back oh, out. great nice. shot by Whiting. That was a three-pointer, I believe. It was, and we yeah. have a tie scored right. five. Whiting, the leading scorer for Haverty Grace. Whiting, a five foot nine senior. 30 seconds to shoot the ball. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Plenty of time. That's Sabrina Knox. A little bit short on that drive. Four seconds now, three seconds, two on the shot clock. Traveling is the call, so the shot clock does not come into play as Aberdeen turns it over. New player in the ball game for Aberdeen. It's number 31, uh, Bobby Hector. Bobby Jr., second year. Come the Warriors. Four minutes, 30 seconds left in the first period. Whiting again, short, or oh, good rebound. Nice job by Burton to get that short shot. What was that call? Oh, it was traveling. Traveling? Yes. So the turnover goes to Aberdeen. Four minutes, 16 seconds, we're tied at five. Aberdeen led two, led five to two. Now tied at five. You have DeGray sticking with the man-to-man -man defense. Driving, putting up, fouled on the drive. Wow. Just into the ball game. Jasmine Kemp on that drive. Kemp will go to the line. She'll shoot two. Kemp, a second year player, five foot nine senior. Eight points a game and foul was on Natalie Burton. I think that's her first, maybe the team's first as yeah, well. It's the first foul of the game, yes. This is the second one. So Kemp, uh, the mechanical engineering student, uh, headed off to college next year to do great things. Burton. Burton inside it goes. Good look underneath. Oh, oh nice collapse. Triple, triple team immediately. Oh, good job by Aberdeen defensively. Yeah, it was. It was Bobby Hector just in the ball game who collapsed, broke down. Aberdeen gets the ball on the alternating possession. That's what our fourth jump ball situation we've had. I prefer jump balls as opposed to fouls. Nigel Harris, number two, the point guard. Good defense on half the grace. Nigel distributing, Hargrove driving, no shot. Foul on the floor is the call. Looks like it's on 10, and Burton, would that be two that on would her? would be her second foul. That was a nice little drive, too. Now, again, in girls' basketball, unless it, after you get to five fouls, you're shooting in each quarter, different than boys' basketball. We'll talk more about the differences between the two sports. Nice block inside. Good job by Sinai, Sinai Knox Good with that hustle block. And have the graces. Pushing it down the court. Cut off. Nice job defensively and oh, intercepted. Steal. That's Bobby Hector. Bobby off the bench. Already made her presence known. Bobby says, hey, I'll control it. You shoot. Shot from outside. Just short. Boy, that looked good all the way. Nice rebound. Good rebound. Can't get the shot to go. Good job by uh, Jasmine Kemp. Nice rebound. Just couldn't get it to fall. 
In girls basketball, 30 seconds to shoot. You can take your time getting across the center court line. You don't have that 10 second rule that the boys have. Whiting gives it up into the corner. In and out oh, it goes. That looked good. It looked good all With everything the way. Everything but fall. Yeah, that was Sanai Knox. She was robbed by the home basket. At Harvard Grace Barb, that would have gone in. That would have. <laughs> oh, good defense. Pick up your dribble. Boy, when that happens, Another you're in trouble. Ball. Good job defensively by Azariah Whiting. Yeah, once you pick up that dribble, you got to know what you're going to do with mm -hmm. it. And if, if you don't, your teammates got to come back and help. Yep. Good job by Haverty Grace, who gets possession of the ball on the alternating possession. Two minutes and 20 seconds left in this first period. From the corner, Whiting. Number three. Short. Rebound by Haverty Grace. Warriors Good keep pass possession. Inside. That's Whiting. She's going to be fouled. New player in the ball game for Haverty Grace. It's number three, Bailey Karstetter. Let's see who that foul was on. Did you see, Don? I did not. Let's see. They have it listed number over two. here. Number two. Two for Aberdeen. Yeah, that would be uh, Nija Harris. Whiting misses the first. Again, no one and one in girls basketball. It's uh, two shots. Nice rebound, but a tie up. Pulling down the rebound was Aberdeen Grace's Sinai Knox. Tied up, alternating possession, Aberdeen's ball. Inside two minutes left in the first period. Nice Great ahead. pass underneath. Just a Just good high. Just missed it. That was a good look. Yeah, looking for a number 22, Jasmine Kemp, unable to make the connection. We haven't had a point scored in the last four minutes by either team. Everything sticking high. with the zone. Inside 15. Cross court, Karstetter with the ball. Seven, five, walking is the call. Right in front of Derek Lyons. Aberdeen's ball, minute 33 left in the period. Aberdeen Grace versus Aberdeen. Barb, you know, because you played a lot of those games. Just something special about playing Aberdeen Grace if you're Aberdeen, vice versa if you're Aberdeen Grace. Yeah, I still have a, a high school rivalry. We used to win the golf club, went to Aberdeen Grace. We still compete. Driving, oh, unable to shot. get it to fall. It was a good shot. Bobby Hector just couldn't get it to fall. Whiting, double team, cut off. Karstetter gives up the shot. Up for three. Off the back of the iron, no good. That was Savannah Lawrence in the ball game, number five. Still no scores over the last four and a half, maybe five minutes now. Exactly one minute left in the first period. I think the rest are discussing who actually knocked the ball out. Yep. They don't have the uh, advantage of instant replay like they do on the uh, college ball. But you know you like to see that. Uh, Chris I do, Johnson yes, get together. Yep. Derek Lines getting together, making the call correct. So Howard Grace retains possession. Nice inbound play. A nice got rebound, rebound, got her own rebound, couldn't get it to fall. That's Sanai Knox, number 15. Another jump ball, we've had at least seven yeah. or eight of those. Both, both teams hustling on those loose balls. 50.5 seconds left. 26 seconds left in the shot clock for Haverty Grace. Open for the three. For three. Off the back of the rim, no good. Travel is called. Aberdeen got the rebound, couldn't get the feet down. New shot clock at 30 seconds, 45 seconds left in the period. A great defensive play by Aberdeen. Wonderful oh, play, except play. couldn't make it. Oh, nice. Getting that ball Gets back out. Shot. 
That's Nyjah Harris with a great interception, just couldn't get it to fall. Driving, Whiting. Foul is gonna be called. That's on Morgan Hargrove. Whiting will go to the line shooting too. Trying to take that charge. I think she's the smallest one on the court. Yeah, <laughs> that takes a lot of courage. Yes, you it see does. A runaway freight train. <laughs> you get out of there. Nice free throw. One for three from the line on the night. She's now got four. First point we've had scored in the last uh, six minutes. Rebound Aberdeen. Good rebound for Aberdeen. Plenty of time left. Tamara Armstrong, number 11, on that rebound. Picking up the dribble, gets rid of it this time. It was a nice pick, but she didn't roll. Long on the shot, battling for the ball. Karstetter with it. Knocks it out of bounds, and Aberdeen will take possession with 7.6 <laughs> seconds left in the period. Shot clock, of course, is off. Open, Double good if three. it goes. A little bit long. Oh, shoot. Got to shoot, yep. and she does. Won't we'll fall, and that will be the end of the first period with Harvard Grace <laughs> leading by a point at 6-5. Barbara, what do you think so far? Well, I think both teams are hustling on those loose balls. You see bodies flying all over the court. Uh, they're getting they're getting some nice shots, uh, just not making them. No surprise, Azarea Whiting leading all scorers with four points. Natalie Burton with two. That's the six points for Haberty Grace. In time for Aberdeen, Nyjah Harris, the leading scorer for Aberdeen with three. Two points for Morgan Hargrove. That's our 6-5 score at the end of one period. I think if I, I did this right, Natalie Burton has two fouls. Um, I don't know if they'll keep her in the game or not. Um, and Aberdeen, they, they have two fouls, one for Morgan Hargrove and one for Amara Armstrong. For a nice crowd here for a Thursday evening uh, as we telecast this game here from Aberdeen. Aberdeen, Haberty Grace, as we said, played already this year where Haberty Grace won that by 39-30. Aberdeen won the region title going back to 2018. They've been down for the last couple of years. Haberty Grace last year, Barb, was 19-5, and, and they started out this year 8-3, and three, running some tough times recently where they've lost five of the last seven. Yeah, that's... that's uh not good momentum going into the playoffs. Yeah, it's a long season, and you're, you're, you start off well. You, you don't want to peak too soon. Injuries, of course, always a part of it. Aberdeen moving the ball around, losing it. The foul is going to be called. Grace. Looks like Nyjah Harris picks up the foul. Again, in girls basketball, you start counting fouls with each period. When you reach five, then you get two free throws. Whiting, driving, up, good on the bank. Nice penetration. Azariah Whiting now with six points, her team up by three. Well, you're impressed with her, Whiting, just her ability. Looks like Have the Grace has now switched to his own defense. All from three That's from the corner, three. Morgan Hargrove. <laughs> Hargrove has five and we have another tie, our third tie of the game. The defense oh, for nice, nice defense by Nyjah Harris, knocking it away. Getting their arms up just like they're taught. Harris. Oh, nice oh, pass. That was a good pass. Yeah, just not expecting it. No. Uh, Bria Huff Crenshaw not expecting that pass. But it stays with Aberdeen. Must have touched Aberdeen Grace on the way out. Open. Shot, no good. Rebound, Haberty Grace. Shot by Amara Armstrong. Here comes Whiting. Into the corner. Back to Whiting. Nice two-man game. A tough pass in the middle. Inside the basket, the will not fall. That's Sanai Knox. She's had a lot of those inside looks. Foul is going to be called. The shortest Just player on the floor, Nyjah Harris, going to be shooting two. 
Nyjah five foot three, according to the program. Nyjah Jr. averaging 15 points a game. Players in for Aberdeen. Looks like uh, number 23, Marissa Heil Coleman. And 22. Yep, that's Jasmine, uh, Jasmine Kemp. Kemp back in the game. Jasmine, one of our senior honorees tonight. This is on both. Bob, they call them free throws, but there's nothing <laughs> free about them. No, they're not easy. You got to make them. As much as you practice, they're still not easy. Whiting, driving the Good middle, drive. puts it up, gets her own rebound. Out of bounds, off Haverty Grace. I off like of the way Sarah she, she takes that jump shot and gets the ball up high so nobody can block it. Yeah, as Araya is five foot nine, and like you said, she doesn't make herself short by bringing the ball down. From the corner, no good. Battling for the rebound, out of bounds. It goes to Haverty Grace. Looks like Aberdeen is playing a 1-3-1 zone defense. Barb, you know the 1-3-1 can be deadly in terms of cutting off the, the wings. Right. The boy, it's open underneath if you can get the ball into the middle and then down low. Looking for three. Pointer. Well, we got a foul. Got a foul, yeah, it's going to be Should three be three, three shots. Haverty Grace is number three, uh, Bailey Karstetter. Looks like the foul's on Jasmine Kemp. Check it, it's not Karstetter, but it's number five, Savannah Lawrence. She'll go to the line shooting three, Will Lawrence. That's Lawrence averaging five and a half points a game off the bench. Bob, she shoots that high arcing shot. Uh, mm -hmm. Pretty when it goes through, but uh, Difficult if it happens to hit the rim, it's going to bounce away. Cleanly through. I don't think that even touched the net, did it? It touched it the went, net a little bit. <laughs> it went straight through. <laughs> Savannah Lawrence, a junior That's five foot five. Particularly hard to make three foul shots in a row. Good rebound to have this. Yeah, oh. up and over was number four, Sabri uh, Knox, but not able to retain the ball. But I'm amazed again, Sabri is a freshman. Keep that in mind, five foot ten, number four we're talking about, who's going to trigger the ball in. If you're an opposing uh, coach, you think, I've got to deal with this person three more years. <laughs> <laughs> that foul is on Jasmine Kemp. I think that's her second. Good movement. Whiting, driving, Good puts it up. Penetration into the lane. The rebound, that's by number two again, Nyjah yeah. Harris. And wisely she held up. It was one on three. She didn't have the numbers. Nyjah being fouled by Whiting. It's a foul that I think uh, Azarea maybe will look back and say, hey, I probably should have done that. Yeah, that's her first. 20 feet from the basket. Nine eight, as you see, the one point lead for the visiting Haverty Grace Warriors. Out of bounds on an unforced error will go to Haverty Grace. To me, like the Haverty Grace went to the man to man again. It looked like they've been switching up their defenses. You're been. right. That makes it that makes it tough on Aberdeen. If you, everybody can get on the same page. I'll tell you a story about our Aberdeen team back when I was coaching at Aberdeen, assistant coach. Hold on to that thought. From the corner, not getting it to fall. That was Knox again. Travel called on Aberdeen. Anyhow, our players couldn't understand if they were playing zone or man-to-man. -man. You'd see scouts come to scout us. They'd say, what kind of defense are they playing? We didn't know. <laughs> Three guys were playing man. Two guys were playing zone. Oh, that really makes it tough on the offense. <laughs> it really did. And the oh, defense. Good inbound and a good block on Aberdeen. A nice block. Another tie up. Whiting had the ball, but had it blocked. Looks like it may have been Jasmine Kemp who got that block. Let me go, let me go, let me go. 
Gives up the three. Knox driving. Gives it up. Lots of time. Short on the three. That was Burton. Have to Grace continues to move that ball quickly without the dribbles. And I like their skip pass where they don't pass just to the person beside them. They pass all the way across court. Sitting down is Sarah Weitzel. Back in the ball game, 15, uh, Sinai Knox. So that's Whiting on Harris. Good movement by Aberdeen, Open. that's a great shot. That was a good shot from oh, the good uh, rebound. foul line. Couldn't get it to fall though. Have the Grace pushing it up court. Knox, good job by Harris cutting it off. Boy, Harris, what a ball hawk, huh? <laughs> Whiting, slowing it down. 15 seconds on the shot clock. With an injury, I think. Yeah. Number 10. Can't see the Have the Grace, Natalie Burton. Looks like she has some sort of an ankle injury. It came off the floor. Good job of the officials to notice that and stop play. Yeah, it looked like she crawled off the court. I didn't even know she was, yeah. she was injured. Yeah, I didn't see it. The officials did and called the timeout. Timeout for Haverty Grace. <laughs> Nine, eight as you see the score as we're waiting for play to resume. Got about uh, half the period left here in the second period. Aberdeen's uh, Morgan Hargrove has a three-pointer in this period. She's got five points. And Natalie Burton just walked back in. She looked yeah. like she might have been limping a little bit. Good to see her though under her own power. As a rail whiting, the senior star for Havity Grace has six points. She leads all scores. Okay, so Natalie will take a seat. like Bailey Karstetter, number three in the ball game for Haverty Grace. 15 seconds left on the shot clock after that timeout. Just inside, four minutes left in the half. Whiting gives it up to Karstetter. There's Knox, little jumper, won't fall. Rebound comes off to Aberdeen. That's Bobby Hector. I'm really impressed with uh, Knox. The, the freshman. Yeah, she is. She's working hard underneath the basket. Trying to get open. Uh, foul is going to be called. Aberdeen's a... Uh, I think that was on Sonia Knox. That would be her first. Marissa Heil Coleman, a little bit out of control. We got bailed out that time with a foul. She'll be shooting two. Ties the game. with the rebound. Yep. Savannah Lawrence gets it to Knox. Back out front to Karstetter. Now Whiting gets up the three. Karstetter. Knox driving. Puts up the little oh, one-hander. What a one-handed shot that, that was. Nice for using that backboard. Off the glass. The first two of the night. Warriors back up by two at 11-9. Good give. Backboard won't fall. Rebound. Good offensive rebound. And it gets uh, it to up foul. and in. That's Holcomb. Kyle, Hol Kyle Coleman, I should say, with the two. Brings the game back to a tie at 11 11. Good ball moving again. Whiting puts up the three. Short. Rebound. The rebound. They're blocking out by Aberdeen. Kyle Coleman with the rebound. Good competitive basketball game. Harris. Taken away, that's Knox. And throws it away. Unforced error.
Two minutes, 12 seconds left in the half. Morgan Hargrove back in the game for Aberdeen, number four. Nyjah Harris. And the Grace is, is now playing a zone. Keeping Aberdeen on their toes on the offense. Nearly a steal. Bailey Karstetter almost a steal, number three. Harris, tough shot, wow. Ball almost went in. That was a tough shot. I don't know how she got it all. She's going in there with the big girls. <laughs> <laughs> Harris to shoot two. 15 points a game, three steals, four rebounds, three assists. Also a track star in the spring. I think that foul was on Sabrina Knox. It's an Aya's sister. Rebound by Knox. Check it. Yeah, that was Knox with the rebound. She's going to be fouled. That foul was on Bobby Hector, her first. Game tied at 11, as you see. A minute 40 left in the half. Knox. Aberdeen sticking with his own defense. Nice move, but taken away, though, by Aberdeen. Aberdeen's got numbers. Oh, good a pass down pass. low. Can it go? Boy, what a great pass. That was a tough shot. Yeah, Brielle. And the Grace has numbers. Looking for three. Off the front of the rim, no good. Harris with the rebound, one on one. And she's gonna be fouled. The blocking foul is gonna be called on Whiting. And that's her second. The two stars of the game, they sort of pat each other. Imagine how many times these two have played one another on the playground. <laughs> That wasn't necessarily a bad foul either. No, no, you're right. If you're gonna foul, make sure they don't make the basket. Harris was under full steam. Makes her first free throw of the night after missing her first four. Puts her team up by one as the Eagles take their second lead of the night. Brielle Croxel in for Haverty Grace, number 23. Puts the second in for you. Five on the night, her team up by two. Coming up with a one minute mark. Whiting, Croxel, block. Great rebound by Knox, but the rebound comes off to Aberdeen. Here comes Harris. Push it down court. Up in the short one-hander, won't fall for Aberdeen. That was Bobby Hector. That was a nice bounce pass and a nice drive. Just didn't get it to fall. Knocks with the basketball. Foxel. Knocks. Short. Doesn't draw iron. It'll go to Aberdeen with 31.7 seconds left on the game clock. 30 seconds on the shot clock. Amara Armstrong in the game for Aberdeen. Harris, 25 seconds left in the half. Gives it up. Looking for three, won't hit. Aberdeen gets the rebound, but it goes out of bounds. 13 seconds left here in the half. And the shot clock is turned off. Aberdeen with that two-point lead, their second lead of the night. Aberdeen Grace looking to tie it up here as we go into the half. Ten seconds. Eight. Great pass down low. Whiting oh, basket. Great, great, great job play, by Whiting. Great drive. Whiting with eight. We're tied. Good if it goes, and it will not fall. So as you see, we have played 20, we played 16 minutes of basketball, and we have a tie at 13-13. Don't go away, we'll take a break at halftime. We'll come right back with the second half in just a moment. Just in time for the beginning of the second <laughs> half. You did not miss a thing. Have the Grace uh, getting the first shot. Now they've turned around. The Warriors going from right to left. 
Nyjah Harris with the basketball, weaving through traffic. Drive puts it up, up and there. good. What a shot by Nyjah nice Harris. Drive. She had two two defenders on her. He now has seven. What a play that was. And Pretty number 10 is back in the game, Natalie Burton, after going out after an injury. Knox loses the ball. Going to stay here with Haverty Grace. I tell you what, that Nyjah Harris, what a drive that was. I yeah. mean, she went through, like you said, three players. She did. Put it up. Didn't out, even hesitate. Off balance, put it up, sort of a scoop shot. Harris to Knox, off her fingertips. Here comes Harris again. Pulls it up she this time. Wisely pulls up that time. Eagles up, as you see, by mm. two on their home floor on senior night. Harris, whiting on her. What a nice pass inside. Back out to Harris. Harris driving, short jumper. Don't get it to fall. Burton battling for the rebound. Out of bounds it goes. It'll stay with Aberdeen. I'm looking forward to seeing Nyjah Harris play, and now I see why. What a great hustler she is. This is a junior also, so she'll be back uh, next year. Look like Havita Gray sticking with their man-to-man -man defense. Five. Back to Harris. Harris oh, <laughs> way out there. Oh, run out. Shot smart. clock was running down. She realized the shot clock was running out. Very well, that smart. That was Caitlin Clark area out there. <laughs> Caitlin Clark of Iowa, we were talking about her before the game. Uh, what she has done for women's basketball. Sold out everywhere they play. Knock. That was a nice turnaround. It was, just didn't get it. Just didn't it make it. A little strong off the uh, backboard. Nice bounce pass. Oh, oh and a nice block. Lighting with the block. Nice scoop shot by Subri Knox. If you are confused, there are Knox sisters out there. Sanai is number 15, and number four is Sabri. Sanai is a senior. Her younger sister, Sabri, a freshman. Sanai Knox now to trigger it in. Gets her to her sister, who passes up the shot. Whiting thinks about it. She thought it. about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe a little long. Good job jumping up, knocking the ball out of bounds was Jasmine Kemp for Aberdeen. Kemp and uh, Huff Crenshaw, as we said, the two seniors for Aberdeen, honored on senior night here at Aberdeen. Karstetter gets it over to Knox. Knox driving, puts it up. No basket, but she's going to be fouled. I think it might have gone against Kemp. Nobody in foul trouble at this point. Nobody has more than two. Sabri Knox with two points in that first half. I think that foul was on Jasmine Kemp. If so, I think it, it was. might have been her third. Gets it to roll in. And then she comes out of the gate. No. Nope. Yep. Nope. <laughs> nope, yep. <laughs> One, either yes or no. Uh, maybe. Into the ball game for Aberdeen, though, is uh, uh, number 31. That's Bobby Hector. Front of the rim. Won't fall. Good rebound. Race, rebound. Foul is called. Another foul. Whiting. Boy, Whiting is just such a instinctive player. Led all scores in that first half with eight points. And that foul is on Bobby Hector, her second, I think. Just into the ball game. Nice shot. Nice mm -hmm. smooth free throw she has. Two out of five now from the free throw line, nine points. Ties the ball game up again, our fifth tie of the game. And now unties it. Makes them both. Ten points now, almost matching her Steven Savage of 10.4. Well, we got four. a little press going on, and oh, it, and it works. works. Karstetter with the basketball. Back out front to Knox. Croxel now to Sabri Knox, and the foul is going to be called, and that could go against 22, Jasmine Kemp. If so, Barb, that might be her 
Yeah, I think it might be her fourth. Not a shooting foul. Sabrina knocks the trigger in. Whiting. Cross court pass to Croxel. Now Whiting. Drives, puts it up. Nice Gets it drive. to fall. Wow. What a shot. Puts her team back up by two. And I have the grace still pressing. Check it by three now. Everything breaks the press. Nice, Gets a nice shot off. That's how you do it. Good job by uh, 31. That's Bobby Hector. The first two of the night. Aberdeen back within one at 18-17. We were tied at the half at 13. Sabrina Knox cut off. Croxel. Out to Karstetter. Cross court. Cross court. Whiting. Check it. It was Knox on the shot. And her big sister gets the rebound. Sinai Knox. She's fouled. We'll go to the line shooting two. That was on, the foul was on Melissa Hill Coleman. That's her first. And Not. Aberdeen quickly has four fouls in this quarter. Yeah, one more and they uh, start shooting. Then in girls or women's basketball in college, after the fifth foul, you shoot two shots. Looked like Aberdeen was in the lane quickly, but it didn't matter. Didn't matter. Hannah Grace is making her free, free throw shots. And I Knox making them both. Sticking with the press. Oh, Aberdeen broke it easily. No shot foul on the floor. Three point lead by Haberty Grace. That foul was on Brielle Croxel, her first foul. Hargrove. And now the fouls are beginning to mount up. Kind of a another clean, one on Croxel. It was a clean first half. It, it was. Almost no yes, fouls. Now all of a sudden, everybody's fouled. A lot fouling. of jump balls. Now we got a lot of fouls. Croxel now. Hargrove to shoot two. She had five in that first half. Cleanly through. Averages four points a game, Audrey over her average. I didn't even notice Dawn, she's a lefty. Yeah. Sadai Knox with that rebound and the foul is gonna be called against Aberdeen. That's uh, Marissa Heil -Col -Col Coleman, excuse me, who has the foul. Knox gives it out to Sister. I don't think they called that a foul because when they've been shooting. No, I would think so, yes. yeah. Looks like it's, they just called oh, it out of Oh, good save. Yeah, great save. Good hustle. Aberdeen was able to keep possession of the ball. Marissa, Marissa Heil Coleman. They say don't save it under your basket, but it worked out that time. Argo Harris rebound in the basket. Nija Harris. Wow. Don't look now, Don. We're tied up again. At five foot three, she's in, as you said, Barb, among the trees. That doesn't matter. Nice drive. Oh, great drive, but can't get it to fall. Good bounce pass. So Here she goes, knocks. driving again. Harris is going to be fouled. I hope she's okay. Oh, she went down hard. That's the beauty of being young. If I had done that, I'd be laying there. They'd yeah. call the ambulance. You know, they would have me on a stretcher. My uh, mind wants to be out there, <laughs> but my body doesn't want to be out there. You're right. I still <laughs> think I can do it. Right. Just don't ask me to do it. Harris to shoot two free throws. Has nine points on the game. Savannah Lawrence in the game. For Haberty Grace, uh, Braille Croxel sits down. 
makes the second. She's got 10 now, does Nyjah Harris. 21-20 as Aberdeen takes the lead. Knox, looking for Over three, three. going to be long. Good job by uh, Marissa Heil Coleman. Thought it was going to go out of bounds and said, nah, I don't think it is. I better pick it up. Hargrove batted right back by Bailey Kostetter. Kostetter has played a, a good game off the bench. And just like that, they sit her down. <laughs> it's called the announcer jinx. In the ball game is Natalie Burton. Young lady went out with that ankle injury earlier. Good to see her back on the floor. Three minutes left in the third period. Harris, no, Euro nice step. Pass, nice outlet pass. Can't get it to fall. Saved inbounds off Aberdeen. It's going to stay with Aberdeen Grace. What a great job there by Sinai Knox. Ball was going out of bounds. He was able to knock it back off of Mara Armstrong. It'll stay with Aberdeen Grace. Nope, now they're giving it to Aberdeen. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Yep. Hargrove for three. Nice, <laughs> count it. Morgan Hargrove. <laughs> I'll take that shot. That was Caitlin Clark. <laughs> that was. Aberdeen now with its biggest lead of four. And she didn't think twice about it. Foul's going to be called. My goodness, that ball was from about, what, 26 feet? Four yep. point lead for Aberdeen, their biggest lead of the night. Sabrina Knox, you'll see the shot. I mean, that hits nothing but nothing some of the but net. net and well oh. beyond the three point arc. Sabrina Knox missing the free throw. And the second, gets the rebound. There it goes. Body's flying again. Everybody hustling. So impressed with the, that's Hargrove diving on the floor, sacrificing that her body. Jump ball, which possession goes to Aberdeen. And now they've got a, an arrow working. possession. <laughs> I'm liking it. Over at the scores table, we can tell it's Aberdeen basketball. New player coming in for Aberdeen Grace. Number 13, that's Sarah Weitzel, into the game. And Sinai Knox taking a, a rest. I think that might be the first time she's been out of the game. I tell you, she has been hustling all night. Two minutes, 35 seconds left in the third. Harris, cut off, maintains possession. Nice uh, screen. It's good defense on have the Grace's part. No, the foul is going to be called. It looks like it's going to be against Whiting, who's a bit upset. That she might was, be her third. She was looking for the five-second call, and it was close. That's the third team foul that you're saying, I think, in the, uh, in the third period. Harris. Oh, tough pass. Yep, kick off the uh, foot of Whiting. That should reset the shot clock, right? It should. Let it. 20, well, it's you know, only th three seconds ticked off, so. Yeah. He retired at 13 at the half. Oh, nice, nice move. Nice move. Won't get it to fall. You got to travel. Amara Robinson was the young lady who made that rebound and shot. Just couldn't get it to go in. Aberdeen will retain possession on that travel. 11 left in the third. Hargrove driving, loses it. Lost control. Keeping uh -oh. possession. Good Are they offensive gonna call? rebound. Are they going to give her the basket? I think so. Amara Armstrong with the rebound. Yeah, they're going to give her the basket and the free throw. I believe the foul is on Sarah Weitzel. Should be her first. Aberdeen now with its biggest lead again at 26-20. Make it 27 points. Three points the old-fashioned way. 
I think this is the biggest lead of the night for either team. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice drive. Can't get it to fall, but the, she will go Savannah Lawrence to the line, shooting two. Warriors have just one basket here in the third period. They've got five three throws for their seven points. Jordan. That was on Armstrong, her second. Jordan Kale, the Haverty Grace coach tonight. There's that high arching shot we talked about in the first uh, half. Savannah Lawrence had one point, one for three on the free throw line in the first half. And makes the second. Brings her team back within six now at 27-21. Pressure coming from Haberty Grace. Yep. Lucky Almost to keep the stole ball. it. Oh, and now, now they, they did do. steal it. Recovered by Savannah Lawrence. And down by six, I think I'd, I'd put the press on too. Whiting. Cut off by Harris. Knox driving. One-hander gets nice it to fall. Shot. That's Sabri Knox. Knox now with five points on the night. Came back within four. And oh, an unforced uh, error, just like that. Here come the Warriors. And that press is bothering Aberdeen yeah. a little bit. Yep. Sabri Knox to trigger the ball in. Driving. Nice block. Taken away by Aberdeen. That block by Amara Armstrong. Aberdeen. Here comes Harris. Got numbers. How did she nice get through drive. there? Nice Nigel Harris. I'm really impressed with her, her ball skills. She's got 12 points now. Burton with three. Natalie Burton, she has five. Natalie, a junior off the bench. Nice drive, but it won't fall. Howard Grace gets the rebound. Bobby oh, Howard Grace has numbers. And throws oh, the ball away. Just Whoa. And they look at the field a little and bit see too much one. on that pass. They'll say, oh, we had it. New player in for Aberdeen. It's, uh, it's Bria Huff Cranshaw, one of the seniors on this team, honored tonight. Bobby Hector. Samaya not uh, coming back in for Havda Grace. Yep. She had all of what, like a minute left? <laughs> Harris. Three point lead. Whiting. Almost a steal. Remember, they don't have a 10 second uh, count off getting across the midcourt line, so you can take as long as you want. They've taken nine seconds to get that far. 30 seconds to shoot the ball. Now inside 20. Harris. Okay, great pass. pass. Taken away by Knox. Nope. And off the foot of Haverty Grace, I believe, yes. Sabri Knox, the freshman, making that play. 13 seconds. 13 left seconds in the quarter. Left in the third period, a three-point lead for Aberdeen. Harris. Hargrove. Three. Remember she had that long before. Rebound block. Rebound block. It was Amara Armstrong, and that will end the third period of play, and what a third period it was. I mean, it was tied 13-13 at the half. Now it's 29-26. The way I count that, my math not being great, <laughs> Aberdeen would have scored 13 points in one period compared to 13 in an entire half. 29-26, Aberdeen with the lead. Yeah, I think the shooting percentages went up a little bit in that quarter. 12 points for, for, for both Harris. teams. Harris now with, uh, with 12 points. She had uh, in that period alone seven. Nine points for Hargrove. Three for Armstrong. Meantime for Haverty Grace, Burton has five now. 12 for uh, Whiting. They are the leading scorers for Haverty Grace. Barb, I tell you, if you say 
Aberdeen Harry Grace. Let's hope it's a good game. I think we've got all of our wishes here tonight. I think we do. This is this has been very competitive. Both teams are fighting hard for every every possession. Players are all over the court. And we looked at the stars, Nyjah Harris for Aberdeen and Azarea Whiting for Haverty Grace. We said, well, we hope they play well. We've seen that. Both have led their teams. They have. Um, and I think same thing, same thing for Aberdeen. They got they got two players with the bulk of the scoring. Mm -hmm. And the Knox sisters, the senior uh, Sinai and the freshman Sabri have really, really played well. Sabri number four to trigger it in. Well, we talked about you played with your sister in basketball, field hockey, and, ba and uh, softball. That was quite a treat, I'm sure. I did, yeah, it was, it was fun. Some sports, more fun than others. The Whiting <laughs> can't get it to fall. The Knox. rebound. Knox gets the rebound. Looking for the short shot. Shot. Nice shot by Sarah Weitzel. Mm, that's a shot you have to take. And she did without any, hes any hesitation. And that's her first two of the night. Tough pass. Rebound oh, in the basket. Nice. Good job by Amara Armstrong. Where the pace has really picked up. That time it would not fall. That was Weitzel again. Here comes Harris. There she goes. Oh. And the block is cold. She gets the foul. She took I on three, three defenders that time. I mean, how much guts do you have to be going at full speed? And speaking of guts, so Weitzel prepared herself to get the charge, but uh, Harris was so quick she was able to bypass that uh, that stance and, and pick up the uh, the foul. Shooting two, Eagles up by three. Gets the first one to go in. She's had a good night at the free throw line too. Yeah, she's four for nine. So she's been there a lot. Oh yeah, when you we drive to the basket like she does, you're gonna go to the line a lot. This is the second. Rebound by Weitzel. Four point lead for Aberdeen. 32-28. Knox. Rebounded, Aberdeen, taken away, Haberty Grace. Shot no good. Rebound, Knox. Rebound, uh, Knox. Haberty uh, Grace with three offensive rebounds. Sabri Knox getting the rebound and getting it to fall. Back within two. Hargrove with the drive, and she'll go to line. Hargrove listed at five feet tall. That, that might be generous. <laughs> <laughs> it just shows you don't have to have size to be good. You just have to have ability and, and guts. This is the first. She has nine now looking to go into double figures, only averaging four points a game. And a big call here in Aberdeen's uh, impressive showing. Yeah, she's had a great game. Makes, nope, off the side of the rim, no good. Rebound, Sinai Knox. Knox gets it back. Burton for three. Off good the shot, the just in fall. Hargrove. Battling for the ball, Aberdeen. That's Bria Hoff. I think we call it a timeout. Good job. Bria Hoff Crenshaw with that recovery. Yeah, that was a good timeout, especially this late in the, in the quarter. You don't want to have a turnover. Jamia McCluskey, the Aberdeen coach, and her partner, Kiara Palmer, played together on the state championship team back in the 2013 era for Aberdeen. Now both teaching here. One is a special ed teacher. The other is a security liaison. What great people they are. There you see Jamia. Jamia is one of those people who lead by example, Barb. You know, not a loud, boisterous kind of person, though she can get in your face <laughs> if she has to, but uh, just a tremendous young lady. Coaches volleyball, coaches track and field, and coaches basketball. Wow. Yeah. 
Got a track scholarship to Temple, by the way. You know all about scholarships. <laughs> so happy to see young ladies getting those scholarships. Yeah, me too. More Harris. and more often. So good job. Good pass Pastic underneath, Foxel. and she finishes. Foxel gets it to fall. That's her first two of the night. Yep, we're tied up again, though. Yeah, we are. I've lost track. Maybe eight yeah. ties, and the walking is called. Avery Grace, who was down by six, it seems like about a minute ago, now has a tie with a chance to go ahead. Burton, Croxel. Whiting. Oh, a great shot. Go ahead. Got that pass in the paint, went right up with it. 14 for Whiting. Up by two. Out of bounds, it'll stay with Aberdeen. Five minutes, 30 seconds left in the game. Driving good one hander. Gets her own rebound, puts it up. Good. Oh, good hustle. Great job by Jasmine Kemp. Kemp her first two of the night on senior night. One of the two seniors honored. Burton says, okay, That's give it three. to me again. I'll take it this time. At the back of the rim. High game at 34-34. Naja Harris, Burton on her. Screen coming. Harris will shoot it. Good. No, off the oh. back of the rim. My goodness, <laughs> that looked good. It did look good from our angle. Croxel. The Knock. drive. Eurostep. Nice drive. Knock gets it to go. It's a new knock. It's a nine knock with the basket. She's now got four. Her team back up by two. Out of bounds. Totally under control. Driving to the basket. That's nice to see. Four minutes, 32 seconds left in the game. Hey, Barb, let's go overtime. What do you say? <laughs> I'm all for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, the guys in the in the guys in the truck really do want that. They guys, let's go overtime. <laughs> Every night they say that. Foul is going to be called. Well, that's a nice job by Burton. She sacrificed her body again. That might, be I think that was on Jasmine Kemp. That might be her fifth. Yeah, it looks like Kemp on senior night will be out. Charged with her fifth foul. Yeah, she doesn't want to go into overtime. No. I always thought you should get an extra foul if you go into overtime. Yeah. Yeah, let them go back on. Yeah, that's a great idea. Why don't you make that as a <laughs> proposal? Knox, cut off. Gets it to Whiting. Whiting driving. Everything with a tough Armstrong. rebound. Armstrong, she has been tough on the board. They're putting pressure on the ball. Asia Harris. Let's see if she drives. Oh, great what pass. A pass. Oh, oh. she's going to get her to fall. What a pass by Harris. And the, the layup just lay on the rim. It wouldn't fall in. Oh, that foul was on Aberdeen. Yep. A two-point lead for Hammerty Grace. Three minutes and 40 seconds left. Croxel with the crossover. Out front, backcourt. It is a backcourt violation. So Aberdeen gets the ball back on the unforced error. Bobby Hector to trigger the ball in for Aberdeen. In the ball game is uh, Bailey Kartstetter. Number three for Haverty Grace. Driving one-hander, good. That's Hector. Hector with tie game again. Four points, and we are tied again. Whiting gives it up. Three. Burton. Three. Nice. Yep, and it is a three. Burton with her second three of the night. She now has eight. Puts her team up by three. Wow. Hector, I mean, give her a lot of credit. This young lady who had to crawl off the court back in the first <laughs> half after her ankle was injured, and now she's out there playing uh, and getting the big point. Coming up on the three-minute mark, a three-point lead for Aberdeen Grace. 
driving. Back out to Nyjia Harris, driving. Back in. Harris, nice drive fast again. Hit. She's got 15. Team back within one. Using that backboard. Another drive. Another drive. That's by Whiting. Whiting has got 16 now with a chance to make it 17. Who's Araya Whiting, five foot nine senior, averaging 10.4 points per ball game. She's got 16. Has her team back up by three. 251 to play. And now it's four. 17 points for Whiting. And there's a press again. That's Knox with the block away. Sabri Knox. No, it's a great shot, just didn't get it to fall. Knox again, her own rebound. Everyone fighting for the rebound. Whiting will be fouled, she'll go to the line. Shooting two. Was well, Araya Whiting? Third year playing on the varsity. I got a timeout. I think Aberdeen called the timeout. Be a good time to call the timeout. You see the game starting to slip away a little bit. You're up by six back in the third period. You're down by down four by now. Four. With a little over two minutes to play in the game. These two free throws, Barb, critical. That'd be critical, yes. Going up by six would be a tough, uh, tough road to hoe for Aberdeen to get back. What a game. This has been everything that we hoped it would be exciting, competitive. We have seen great play by the great players. That's Whiting and Harris, and then contributions from a lot of other players. Yeah, we've seen both teams go on runs. Yeah. Go up by a few and down by a few and come back. I've lost track of the number of uh, ties. It's been something like eight <laughs> or nine. It's been a lot of ties. And a lot of <laughs> lead changes. Aberdeen down most of the game, then came up in that third period up by six at one point. Now they find themselves down by four with a chance to be down by six if Whiting can convert these free throws. Yeah, I know the Hamlet Grace has been pressing. I'd, I'd be curious to see if Aberdeen does the same to try yes. to get a few steals as we have 2.38 left on the clock. Remember, Hamlet Grace won the first game of the year between these two teams, 39-30, so if the Warriors can win again, it'll be a clean sweep in the 23-24 uh, season and of course bragging rights <laughs> bragging rights these yeah these schools are three miles apart along route 40. you don't think they'd rub it in do you no nah. uh -uh. short on the first one while we were talking about the the game you lost I hate to bring back the memory in your senior year uh in the softball that you still remember some four decades later. Yeah, a little too clearly. <laughs> <laughs> An undefeated Aberdeen team, and the only game you lost all year was the state in the, final. In the yes. state final. Taken away. Oh. Just a bit long. Whiting with a great interception and a good idea. It was a great idea. A little long for Burton. Not Aberdeen sticks able. with the press. Or have the grace, I'm sorry, sticks yeah. with the press. It's worked for him. It has worked. Harris. Boy, the length of Knox. It's of close. Subri Knox. Almost another steal. Subri Knox has, uh, you know, the size. They list her at 5'10". Uh, and again, as a freshman, number four we're talking about. Well, next year she'll be six feet tall. Yeah if the growth spurt continues. Yeah, it probably will, being a freshman. Harris. Hargrove. Oh, Five cross to court. shoot. Dangerous oh. pass. Knox, lady on the spot, takes it away, drives. Good defense by Harris. It was Harris. good defense. Everybody looking to run. Hector driving. Hector taking it. Oh, good it. pass. Good pass to Nigel oh, Harris. Great look. Hector giving it up to Harris. Harris with 15, her team back within two. That was a great shot. She, she was, couldn't use the backboard from where she was. Minute 30 left in the game. Aberdeen Grace in no hurry. 18 seconds on the shot clock. Burton inside to Knox. Knox back out front. One for three. Karstetter off the front of the rim. Oh, with the rebound. That's Whiting. Won't fall. Knox rebound, won't fall. Whiting, basket. Wow. 
that's been a big difference in this, this quarter. Have the graces getting those offensive rebounds and putting them back up. Double team. And a tie up is going to be called. What a great double team by Whiting and Sabri Knox. That's a double team with the two tallest people on the court. Yep. Double teaming one of the shorter ones on the court. That's, that's a to, tough ask. And it had the sideline, too. So and the really sideline, yeah. You had like three players. Aberdeen will trigger it in. A minute three left. They're down by four. No time to delay. They're down by four. They've got to get a basket. 17 on the shot clock. Harris calling the play. Gets it to Hector. Hector driving. Oh. And oh, we got a foul. foul. It's going to be called. It looked like Hector stepped out of bounds, but uh, he was foul forced before, out. Yes. Let's see. Is it a shooting foul? Or are they in the shooting? Nope. Looks like no, it's still triggered so. in. Haven't had five fouls yet. 48.9 seconds left. Aberdeen needs this basket and one and the more. The shot clock resets. Knox with the rebound. Sanai Knox. Oh, losing it out of bounds. Lost it. Break for Aberdeen. 43.1 seconds. Timeout Time for out Grace. Grace. Jordan Kale, the interim coach. If you were Jordan Kale, what would you tell your team now, Barb? Well, I'd, I'd tell them to keep pressing. That seems to be, be working. It's going to put pressure on Aberdeen and then, and then run off some, some, some clock. On the other hand, if you're Jamia McCluskey, what do you tell your team? <laughs> well, I think they gotta, they gotta, they got to pass the ball. It, not, not get tied up and double teamed. Try to get rid of the ball before you get double teamed. Because if you got two people on you, someone's open. The hard part's finding that person. Yeah, especially like you said in the case of Harris where you had these two big bodies and you had the sideline. There's no place to go. Warriors looking to try to extend their record to uh, 11 and 8, uh, trying to break a two game uh, losing streak. They've lost five of their last seven. Obviously, on senior night at Aberdeen, uh, they would love nothing more than to break that losing streak. Aberdeen, on the other hand, uh, would love to give their two seniors, uh, Kemp and uh, Huff ja Cranshaw, something to go out on. So here we are 43.1 seconds left. Aberdeen with the basketball in their backcourt. So in reality, Aberdeen needs the ball twice. They do. Unless they get fouled on a three-point shot, which is probably going to be difficult. Aberdeen Grace extending their defense. Hector oh, loses the ball. pressure. Whiting. Aberdeen Grace with the ball. Grace is in no hurry. No hurry at all with 29. So they've got a foul. They've got a foul, and they do. Burton. Have they reached the five free throws yet? I think that should be the fifth, I think. That's a break for Aberdeen if Burton will cooperate and miss the free throw. They've stopped the clock now at 25.7. Shot clock is off. So you've got to hope that Burton will miss the free throw. She cooperates with the first one. Aberdeen's going to have to get this rebound and get it down quickly. This is the second. Oh, oh my got goodness. the rebound. Whiting gets yep. the rebound. Aberdeen had no choice but to foul. That could pretty much, with 23 seconds left, Whiting going to the line shooting two. Whiting with seven in this period alone has 19 overall. This is the first. Maybe a little glimmer of hope for yeah. Aberdeen. Yeah. yeah. Makes the second. It's a five point lead now. 21 20 seconds. seconds. Taken away. Knox with the interception. Oh. Collision Good. under the basket. And that's probably one if you're have to grace, you probably want to yeah. hold that up and not shoot. Karstetter. And stop the clock. The five foot six junior. Flexing her arm a bit there.
This is the first. 12.1 seconds to a five point lead. I've seen stranger things happen. Mm, I Bob. have too. Gets the second to go through. Now it's a six point lead, a two possession game. Hadley Gray sticking with that press. Five seconds. Good pass, good conversion. Yeah, that was nice. Two seconds, one second. That's the game. As Hadley Grace will hold on and win by 46 to 42. It's a four point win for the Hadley Grace Warriors. Bob Solberg, I mean, what can we say about the competitive nature of this game? Sloppy in some cases, uh, you know, a little bit out of control sometimes, but what outstanding yeah, effort on both teams. Aggressive, yeah, both teams stayed aggressive the entire game. I was very impressed with the hustle on both sides. Yeah, the leading scores, it looks like uh, Whiting had 12, 14, 16, 18, had 20 points, leading all scores. Nigel Harris had 12, 14, 16, 17. He's leading score for Aberdeen. So just as you would expect, the two stars of the game, uh, Azariah Whiting for Haverty Grace with 20, and Nyjah Harris for Aberdeen with 17. Yeah, I think that the, the press that Haverty Grace put on, I think that was probably the big difference in the game. Uh, they got a lot of turnovers off that press, and they, they slowed Aberdeen down and maybe forced them to take some shots they didn't necessarily want to take. Yeah, and put some pressure on Nyjah Harris to make her get rid of the basketball. You know, she was just carving Haverty Grace up with those drives yes, to the basket. Yes, she was. But when they started double teaming her, it got more and more difficult for her to get through and make the shot. What a game we just saw. 46-42, the final score. Haverty Grace wins it. They go to 2-0 on the season series against Aberdeen. They go now to 11-8 on the year. 3 and 5 in the conference. Aberdeen dropping to 4 and 13, 3 and 12. But I tell you what, both teams have young players coming along. Mm -hmm. I think it's the future is bright for both right. uh, Korea, with 100%. Husky and with Haverty Grace. Bob Solberg, final comments you'd like to make on this game? Um, I was I was very impressed. Like I said, both teams were, were well coached. Um, they they moved the ball. Haverty Grace moved the ball really well against the zone on Aberdeen. Um, getting a lot of a lot of good shots. Both teams. A lot of more fun. I still I still wish we had the percent of their shots made, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah. And you're right, I think that, as you said, the way Haverty Grace moved the ball, uh, the play of, of having that press at just the right time. They put it on, took it off, put it back mm -hmm. on. I think it surprised Aberdeen a little bit and uh, forced Aberdeen into some mistakes that you know they maybe of course didn't want to make. Remember, the Eagles led by six points in that third period. Harvard Grace made up that six, went up by six and themselves, more, and, yes. and won by four. Yep. Well, we hope you've Break enjoyed it. it. This is our final uh, basketball game of the year. We'll have the wrestling championships coming up in a couple of weeks, but we hope you've enjoyed this season of girls and boys basketball on, the, uh, on Hartford TV. Barb Solberg, thank you so much thank for being Thank you for me. having me. I had a great time. This a was great. wonderful game. And you out there in TD land, hope you enjoyed it. Don Morrison for Barb Solberg, our final score. As you see, have a great winning by 46-42. Have a great night.